Hello everyone, in this video I'm going to talk about variables in JavaScript. Now if you've done maths at school, and I'm sure most of you if not all have done it, I'm sure you are familiar with the expression uh, x equals 5 or y equals 10 and then you have to solve some crazy equation when you insert x and y or you know x but you don't know y and stuff. Now, variables is actually this, this bit x, and this is the value. And in JavaScript, it's no different. Now, in JavaScript, we write variables, or we start declaring a variable by writing var. So this tells the browser that the next thing we're going to write is going to be a variable. So we are declaring a variable. No, say for example we wanted to uh, say var birthday equals something. Now, uh, birthday could be, I don't know, uh, it could be like Sunday. So, your birthday could be Sunday. And your, I don't know, birth date could be uh or it could be i don't know 19 and uh the i don't know birth year could be 1990 1988 something along the lines and that's a variable the var is declaring the variable the birthday, the birthday or the birth year is the variable name and this data or this value is value is what this is going to be so when we say uh, show the birthday it's going to return a value of Sunday now in JavaScript text like these in my text editor it's uh, pink these ones surrounded by the double brackets, double quotes, yeah double quotes, not double brackets, double quotes, these ones are called strings, okay? Strings are basically letters and words, and in JavaScript these ones are numbers, simple. Numbers don't need to have, don't need to be surrounded by double quotes. It cause it's a numeric variable and it's and if you surround it with a double quotes, it's going to turn into a string. Now I'll talk about various types of uh, variables late uh, in my next video. As for now, I am going to talk about a couple rules when declaring or creating a variable in JavaScript. Now, when we create, when we write var and we're creating a variable name over here, we must make sure that the name of a variable is starts with a letter. So, for example, a v or b in the case of these three. It can't start with a number. Okay? So, it must start with a letter. So, say for example, uh, I don't know, I want to talk about, I want to create a variable name called, uh, what's a good one that starts with a number? I don't know, January. Yeah, I could say January, but then I can't say one, even though that could mean January. That was a bad example. But anyway, you can't start a variable with a number. It has to start with a letter and then you can have numbers and letters in between. Okay, the next thing is that we could, instead of letters, we could actually start variables with these symbols. So we could say var dollar sign uh, day date equals, what's the date today? 24th. And if we return this date it will give us this 24th string however we don't tend to use this this dollar sign nor this underscore when we are doing uh 
when we are declaring a variable because I don't know I just don't use it personally because I don't really see the point in adding an extra uh, character in front of it I could just call it a date also uh, I could say var date equals I don't know 19 and these two will be a completely different thing now this date and date is a different uh, variable let's give it a semicolon at the end because uh, variables in JavaScript are case sensitive so if I want uh, the value for date it will give me 24th as a string but if I want the, va uh, the value for this date with a capital D it will give me a numeric value of 19 uh, what else are there? We could also say, let's delete this and like type var uh, var computer and not give it a value yet but then later on in our uh, code we could say computer equals I don't know Apple or something like that and then if I want if now this computer is going to equal Apple because we created or declared a variable computer which didn't have a value as of yet or at this point but then we gave this computer variable a value of Apple so there we go we could either declare or assign a value to uh, your variable in this case computer when you create the variable or you can actually uh, create a variable and then later on in your code we could assign it a value so that was an introduction to uh, variables in JavaScript in my next video I will talk about various types of video uh, variables I touched on string and uh, the numeric value but there's loads of other stuff so thanks for watching and I'll see you later.